Boys don't know how to become men. You know how we become a man? We watch them. We see them. And we go, oh, that's what a man is. That's what a father is. That's how this works. And some, in some communities in our country, 80% of the young boys in our country do not have a male figure in their life. Not a dad, not an older brother, not an uncle, not a grandfather, and certainly not a mentor. You want to know why so many of our communities are ravaged with crime? Because there are no men directing our boys. That's the problem. That's the issue. There's a war on men. And what we need to do is we need to raise up men. But the question is, what kind of men? We want to raise up godly men. Psalms 27, 11 says this. Teach me how to live, O Lord. Lead me along the right path. For my enemies are waiting for me. If you're a man here today, I want you to know that your enemy is waiting for you at the door, in your car, on your way home, and it wants to destroy you. God wants to direct you. Your enemy wants to misguide you and lie to you. Guys, the world says follow the desires of your heart. The Bible says the desires of your heart lead to hell. Don't trust them. Don't trust your heart. How many of you guys have ever made a decision and you said this? I'm just going to go with my heart. Yeah, maybe, maybe it worked out. Maybe it worked out. I got to tell you, I've made some decisions in my life where I, I'm going with my heart, and it did not work out. I was like, wow, heart? <laughs> that was some bad advice. So let me give you some advice, not to men, but to women. This whole message, you know, is about men, but ladies, I want to talk to you, girl to girl, okay? <laughs> right? Lady to lady. Let's sit down. Let's have some coffee. Let me give some advice to women. Let me tell you one of the things. You know, I have three women in my household, my wife and two daughters, and they get those magazines, those girly magazines. And, 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 and the magazines, you know, they talk about all kinds of stuff, but every now and then I'll see a magazine that says, what men really want, written by a woman. It's like, let me tell you what men want. Put down the magazine. That's the first thing they want, right? Put down the magazine, okay? You don't need an article about what we want. You can write it in two or three sentences. It's not done. It's not that complicated, so let me give some advice to women. First of all, ladies, your words matter more than you think. They do. You can tear your man up, or you can build him up, excuse me, or tear him down. And some of you ladies are tearing your man down because you think he doesn't care. Let me tell you something. This is, this is a confession from me to you. I can take on the world if my wife's behind me. If she is critical of me and she puts me down, I can't go out the front door. Your words matter more than you think. I don't care what anybody thinks. Just the other day, I was telling my wife, I, you know, I'm, I'm starting to tweet now and I'm on Twitter and you can follow me at Pastor Matt Brown on Twitter and I was so excited and my wife was like, what, what? I was like, I got my first hater, look. <laughs> like no matter what I say, he hates it. He could have hated everyone in the world, but he chose me. He chose me. He hates me. <laughs> right? That's right? I mean, Luke Skywalker needs a Vader. I have my Vader. Yes. I can handle that. I can handle that. I cannot handle when my wife thinks I'm worthless or I'm useless or I'm no good. Your words matter more than you think. Ladies, if you feel like your husband tunes you out, maybe you need to ask yourself, what is it that your station is communicating? I watched my Uncle Henry do this. I was at a family reunion, and he has hearing aids in both ears, and his wife's kind of yappy. And she talks, and she's going to talk until she has something to say, you know, one of those. And this is amazing. I, 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 see, I, he, I learned something from him that day. She was just talking and really letting him have it, and he just did one of these with his hearing aids. See, he has superpowers. He can choose, he can choose not to hear. I was like, that was good. That was good. I saw that. And he just kept nodding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. All right. Ladies, next advice. Encourage your man or your men, if you have boys as well, encourage them to spend time with other godly men. If you're, if you're a gal and you're dating a guy and you think all of your boyfriend's guy friends are idiots... Why is that? What does that say about your boyfriend? 
I mean, birds of a feather, what? Flock together. You're dating a moron. I don't know what he has in common with those idiots. Well, he is one. Press the eject button. Escape. Get out of town. You want to ruin your lives, ladies? Marry a moron. Marry a moron. I pray with young gals every single week out on the patio that have done so. But I thought he was going to change. You want to change a man? Other men will do it. Other men will do it. What you say a thousand times, a brother in Christ can say one time. 